Greetings everyone, today I will show you how to install a unification mod but without the installer. So this is for you that you use Mac or Linux or you have CD version of the Donovar Soulstorm. So firstly you need to download unification version 7.3.1 or any other version that's available. As you can see, this is the current highest version. And so you, ne you don't need this one, you only need this one, this file. Download it. And now, you can see, open your Don't Over Soulstorm folder. And if you have any older versions of the unification, delete it. I also recommend full reinstall of the game so you have unchanged vanilla files and also one type one tip launch the vanilla game once before launching it with a mod it would be much quicker and much easier to load and also if you have any other trouble leave a comment I will try to help you and if you want any other tutorial there will be a link in the right corner right here right now if I don't forget anyway as you probably noticed right now I am NOT on Mac neither on Linux I'm on Windows but I am sure this will work for you and it, I'm sure that it will be quite similar now you need to open unification.7 zip and open it. Now extract all of the files in it to the Dawn of War Soulstorm folder. Wait until the process is finished. It could take some time because some time because it's like 20 gigabytes of data. So I mean, the game is 4 gigabytes and this mod is 20. So keep that in mind. Just wait. And done. And now, when it's done, if you want, if you want to see cutscenes in your campaigns, you need to go to DXP2 and copy the movie file into the unification folder right here. And normally, the installer does it for you, but here you need to do it manually and when it is if you want to you can make a desktop icon to the unification configurator because this is the file when you configure the rules for your campaigns you can do it in game you need to do it here and if you want install if you want to install the mod manager you need to do it through here because normally it's part of the installer but here you need to do it manually so we'll go here click download now and when you're done open the zip file and move this exe right into Dawn of War Soulstorm. And now when you open it, you, need, you will need to update it. This is an automatic process. Do not worry. Now as you can see I have two of them, but now I have only one. You will also need to move to make the 
desktop shortcut for this one if you want to launch it from there and now you will have this open you will have fuck and now when you have the dune of War mode manager opened you will need to do some settings so the games run smoothly first check for settings so if you missed something it will it will told you here now make sure this is on and the laa is on and now when you go to settings you can now change all the stuff because in game is a little bit harder do it like this is i for my for best experience disable this one and you can basically left everything on high resolution direct 9 and in the audio change it to high and high so we have better sound and I don't actually know what this do does but I'll leave it off and this is how you can play the unification mod if you don't have the, the game on Steam or if you just don't want to use the installer it should look like this and now let's try if it works not this will be bad And now, as you can see, game is starting. And it's the correct mod. <laughs> so now we just need to see if everything is working all right. And now as you can see, everything is working alright. We have the modded Necron here, the campaign, when it loads up, I will show you that it's working alright. And also for me, make sure I did everything go in a good order. And yes. Campaign is working. And when you launch skirmishes, you will see that there is more mods now. Not only the classics, classic skirmish, but you also have assault, which you are making attack on enemy AI. And that is basically a sub them is survival scenario, which is. The AI will attack you in a wave, you must defend. And arcade is just some smaller games like for example Pac-Man. Uh, not so sorry, not Pac-Man. No. What is it called? Pac-Man. Uh, no, it's Pac-Man. Uh, or you can play a space hard here. But that should be all is working and if you have any trouble write a comment and I will try to answer and explain it here seven three point one so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you later in the tutorial
bye